I was thinking about Noah's Ark. I was watching a sermon in the past that was making some very solid points talking about hope. And he got to talking about water. And he said something that was profound that we sometimes we don't think about. We think about the ark when we think about Noah and the story of the flood. But we don't think about the water all the time. We think about how the water destroyed the wickedness, the wicked people and everything that was going on. God flooded the world. But the same water that flooded and destroyed wickedness is the same water that saved those eight souls on that ark. When he was speaking this, it really spoke to me, it really spoke to my spirit because it was truth. We know that Jesus is the water of life. We know that He will exalt us in due time, protect us from the wrath that's to come, from persecution. I mean, imagine you have this ark sitting on top of the water and all the wickednesses being consumed by this water. In the same way, Jesus is in between us, protecting us from the evil because he is the living water. The ark also had a door We know what the scriptures say about who the door is. The point I'm getting at is the same water that destroyed the world is the same water that saved those eight souls that were on the ark. the water of life, Jesus Christ, who shed his precious blood for you. Who died on the cross for you, who was resurrected from the dead on the third day for you. Who is God's grace, God's mercy, God's forgiveness. That water, Jesus Christ, it's the same water in Revelation chapter 6 verse 16 and 17 where it speaks about the wrath of the Lamb has come and who should be able to stand. Jesus Christ is the one who's pouring out the wrath because all judgment has been given to him by his father and my father and your father if you're born again your heavenly father it's interesting when I think about water because you can sit on the banks of a river and I've done this before and I'm going back to this moment I sat on the banks of the river with a friend and we were conversating. And the river was just it was just flowing. It was just doing what it does. It wasn't violent. Uh, it was peaceful. Then you think about when a um 
river is raging. It's violent. Think of how bad you think about how bad it can get. You think about hurricanes and tornadoes and tsunamis and all these different things. Majority of them start with what? With water. I just find that fascinating and interesting. Me just sitting here thinking about it. I like when the water is cool and it's gentle and it's peaceful. But sometimes that water gets to um, stir it up. <laughs> Not always uh, a good thing. I think I'll take the peaceful part and be on the part of Jesus Christ on that side, other side of the storm when it hits because he's coming back with his saints and I will be a part of that a storm is coming what side of it will you be on God bless each and every one of you in Jesus Christ's name truth isn't debated it's declared and I'm declaring the gospel of Jesus Christ that if you die in your sins you're going to hell I can say it cool and calm like I'm saying now or I can say it fired up speaking with passion and zeal the message is still the same as always, stay focused for Jesus.